Hey guys, it's Conference Hollywood Studios here, and today I'm going to be doing my Cedar Fair 2020 predictions. I figured I'd do them a little early, just like my Six Flags predictions, before anything gets announced and it's ruined. So before we begin, um, I just want to let you guys know I'm going from smallest park to largest park, and a lot of these predictions were really, really difficult to make, unlike the Six Flags predictions. There are definitely some that are set in stone or are highly rumored. But then there's others that are just shots into the dark, and I really don't know. So, with that said, let's get started with Michigan's Adventure and a new restaurant, maybe? I mean, they rarely get anything, and I quite honestly don't think that pattern is going to change in 2020. Because Cedar Fair, they really don't pump much money into them, considering they don't get a very high attendance, or they don't make much money for the company as a whole. So I don't think they're very high on the, oh, we should give them this list, if you know what I mean. So I just think maybe park improvements, new restaurant, really nothing much. Moving on to Valley Fair, I think they're going to get new family or kid rides, because they've focused on thrill rides for the last few years, and I think they could use some new family rides, or even kid rides. Um, this park, like Michigan's Adventure, doesn't get the highest attendance in the Cedar Fair chain at all, and it doesn't make the most money for the chain, but um, I definitely think they're just going to get something small and definitely not nothing, so I'm calling for a new family or kid rides for Valley Fair. At Worlds of Fun, I'm thinking something very similar, family rides or a water park expansion, because the last time they got a water park expansion was in 2015, and that was just a kiddie splash pad. So it'd be great to see them get a new slide complex or something like that. And family rides for me, I think that would be equally as good for the park. Moving on to Dorney Park. This is a park I think will get something big. I'm calling for either a GCI wooden coaster or an RMC Raptor. I'm leaning more towards the GCI, but I could definitely see the Raptor happening as well. Um, there were, the reason I say this is because there have been many markings in the former Dinosaurs Alive area. And of course, there was the one instance where um, GCI themselves put out a tease with a picture of a dinosaur, and I think Dorney copied it or whatever. I don't remember the exact what happened, but it was heavily implied that there was a new GCI going in a Dinosaurs Alive area, and Dorney kind of confirmed it was going to theirs. So I'm pretty sure about this one. It's heavily rumored GCI for Dorney has been wanted for a while, and I think this year might just be their year. California's Great America, this one's basically definite water park expansion. There's already slide pieces on site, including a bit of a land clearing. So this one, I don't think anyone can really argue this. They are definitely getting a water slide, whether it, I don't know if it's a slide complex, one slide, a water coaster. I haven't really seen pictures, but I've heard that there are slide pieces on site. So if it's not a water park expansion, I will literally be astounded. Nuts Berry Farm, I just think they're going to get some park improvements, maybe a family ride, but probably just park improvements. They recently got Hang Time, the Gerslauer Infinity Coaster, and they redid their log ride. So I think they're just going to take it easy this year, maybe get a new coaster in the next few years, because they did, again, they just got Hang Time. So I don't see them getting a coaster this year yet, or anything big. So I'm calling for park improvements for Knots. King's Dominion, I think this one's heavily rumored. After the teaser, King's Dominion put out a water park expansion, maybe even a water coaster, because they got rid of Big Wave Bay, and they put a teaser on social media, on Instagram specifically, um, saying we're making waves for something big and new. So maybe a new water coaster? Definitely something in the water park. Um, and they also removed Tornado last year, or whatever it was called. I'm pretty sure it was called Tornado. But they have a lot of room in that water park, and I'd definitely love to see a water coaster or just more slides. So King's Dominion, I'm almost positive with this. Water park expansion for 2020. Canada's Wonderland, I think they're just going to get some park improvements because they just got the massive dive coaster Yukon Striker for 2019. And I don't really see them getting anything big this year. They're going to take a big off year. Yukon Striker was not cheap, and Cedar Fair is not going to give them anything big quite yet. So I think they're just going to do some small park improvements, touch up some areas, and maybe we can expect something new and good next year. 
So, Canada's Wonderland, just park improvements for 2020. Carowinds, they are definitely, this is confirmed, getting a new hotel. So, it's not really a prediction, it's just retelling what's confirmed already. I don't really think they're going to get a ride in addition to the hotel, because the hotel can't be cheap. So, I think this is great for Carowinds, that they're going to have an on-site hotel now. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say about Carowinds. It's good that they're going to get a hotel, and I don't see them getting anything in addition to the hotel. So Carowinds, just the new hotel that was already confirmed. Kings Island, this one's basically confirmed. A beat and bigger named Polaris or Orion. I mean, it's impossible to deny this. The leak brute blueprints, the track on site at Claremont. Um, it's just, it's set in stone. There's no way they're not getting a giga or at least some type of new huge coaster. Um, I like the name Orion a little better. I know a lot of other people like Polaris. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but I saw the leak blueprints, and I'm showing the animation now that someone made, and it just looks great. I hope the ride ends up looking like that, because if so, it can be very, very good. Maybe even the new best coaster at the park. And now Cedar Point. It's their 150th anniversary, and I don't think they're going to do anything big, because um, Tony Clark confirmed on Twitter that they are not getting a coaster for 2020. So I just think they're going to do some major park improvements and maybe a new family ride or kids area. I just think they're going to get the major park improvements, if I'm being totally honest, though. Um, kind of like what King's Dominion did for their 40th anniversary, how they touched up Candy Apple Grove and stuff like that. I can, I can see Cedar Point doing that just on a much grander scale because the park is so big. Um, other than that, I think that's all they're going to do. Um, they just got Steel Vengeance in 2018, and they got Forbidden Frontier in 2019. I think Forbidden Frontier can definitely be expanded upon in the future. It wasn't really big, but it is cool. It's a whole new area, so I think that was cool. Um, maybe a new coaster next year, but I think that's a little bit of a tight one, even though they have a strong history of getting coaster, 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 sometimes two years in a row. So that's going to conclude my Cedar Fair 2020 predictions. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you agree or disagree or just are in the middle with my predictions. Again, I don't expect these to be right except for the ones that are confirmed or heavily rumored. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.